welcome to the iron couch this is us watching season six episode nine yeah. of game of thrones battle of the bastards battle of the bastards we're here to talk about it yeah so it kept in line with true episode nine fashion yeah yeah it was huge it's a big deal it's a yeah. real big deal so let's just get right into it and start with what they started with first on the show marine which was kind of like a curveball. Out of nowhere. So yeah, I, I didn't like a, expect it. You know how like when you go to McDonald's or like Burger King and you like get fries and there's like the bag fry and you're like, huh, I forgot about this, but it's nice to have. <laughs> or like, like when you order was. fries and you get a curly fry thrown in there. Yeah. And, and yeah. you're like, okay. Yeah, like yeah. Marine was the bonus fry for this episode. <laughs> it was. I, liked it. I mean, it was kind of a big deal for me because I really like dragons and anything that has crazy dragon action is, that sounded terrible, but you know what I meant. <laughs> I feel like uh, one of the biggest things that people do when they criticize Game of Thrones is they go, why isn't Daenerys just using her dragons? Like, she has dragons, why doesn't she use them? Mm -hmm. And this really answered that yeah. kind of query. Like, she has dragons, and she's going to use them, and she's going to kill people and destroy ships. Mm -hmm. Boom. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, you know, it's like, it's one of those things, though, it's like, and Daenerys is kind of like her character as a whole right now. I remember, okay, so after, I think it was last week's episode, I saw articles on like every single major pop news site saying, like, is Daenerys going to be the next Mad Queen? Yeah, the next Queen. Like, she Cersei. Uh, yeah, but it was all about Daenerys. It's like, is Daenerys going to fall into the same trap as her father? And she really treads very lightly on the line between, and, like, we even saw her battling with that today in this episode. Is, is she going to pillage all of these cities like she was saying to Tyrion and Tyrion's like no you can't do that it's it's a lot of back and forth and I think that the dragons the usage of them that people talk about is it has to do with that balance that mm -hmm. balancing act that those dragons inspire fear mm -hmm. they can kill sometimes on accident and kill people who she wouldn't normally want to die it's, yeah it's tricky that gray worm throat slash was that was cool. oh that was cool. you know what? so sad I know a lot of people complain about Grey Worm and Masande getting like more screen time like, you know what you're wrong no they're great I, I love, love Grey Worm and Masande cool. yeah. yeah I do too they're, no, they're good characters that Grey Worm throat slash was so satisfying because you knew it was coming but just the way he was just like <laughs> no I mean one of the awesome things about Game of Thrones is um the fact that you do have all these side characters that still get a lot of screen time, like Torment. Torment's not a main player. He's not going to become she king of anything, us. but he's important. Like he means yeah. something to all of us. We cheer for him. Torment, you know. Who are you talking about? Torment. Big Red. Oh, oh, Big, Big Red. Red. Big Red. Big Red. <laughs> Thomas, do we want to start the timer, by the way? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> the timer on screen. Don't just. Just keep us on track. Okay. Yeah. Um, um. So yeah, and then. Did anyone else have anything to say about that moment? I just want to about say... About the throat slash or Marine? Marine. Uh, no, about okay. that particular okay. moment of Marine, and then we're going to move on to the more political parts uh, of Marine. Okay. okay, I was just going to say, I like, mad props. Like, every every season, every dragon scene, I'm just so impressed at how good they look. They, yeah. Because usually dragon CG is hot garbage. Well, they just, really... We got all three of them on screen. All three of yeah. them on screen. They all looks awesome. Huge. Like... Whoever did the dragon CG for Game of Thrones, if they'd have had that for Lord of the Rings for Smog, Smog wouldn't have looked stupid. It would have been way cooler. Yeah. Just saying. But then we wouldn't have those like videos of Benedict Cumberbatch That's and true. Like crawling yeah. around the ground. Yeah. Which is so good. So worth it. <laughs> Man. One thing though, like, some. with Game of Thrones, the allocation towards, like towards their CGI must have increased because I remember with last season though. Uh, in the fighting arena, whenever Daenerys gets on her dragon and he goes off, it looks, looks kind like of horrible. Story. Yes, it very I much did. Like, it may have also been just the size, because now yeah. Drogon's bigger, so it, for some reason I think the size difference now mm -hmm. makes it look a little more natural. I just, it was so like, it was like never any story, or like Harry when he gets on the hippogriff, he's like, woo! Like, it was bad. It had like that tackiness factor to it, but yeah. now like when she did it, it looked good. Mm -hmm. One part of that battle that I forgot. I completely just forgot about was, you know, oh, dragons, and then it's like, who are all these people on horses? <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh, the no. show up. Dothraki, yeah, yeah they really show up. Really I would have over that. I would have liked to yeah. see the Dothraki, like, finally, like, give yeah. it some yeah. the harpy they're on, but, yeah. They have I, like, just, to I will never get over Call Drogo. So, like, <laughs> every time I see the Dothraki, I'm like, oh. <laughs> Listen. Call oh, Drogo. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so then the Battle of Marine played out, and then... It, Danny accepted a deal given to her by Yara and Theon. The, oh, yeah. Okay. 
as much as I love that scene, the only problem I have with it is they kind of just showed up out of nowhere. Yeah. yeah. Mm. You really see them arriving. Yeah, which I would have liked to <laughs> see them like roll, roll well, yeah, around. I'm just thinking, like, Especially you know, like, with all the ships. Yeah, with all the like, ships yeah. burning in yeah. the harbor. Like, just like... Uh, turn around, turn around, turn around. Even there's a scene of like Tyrion standing on the balcony, the like, Valmarine's clearly over, and, and Tyrion more ships like, pulling in. there's more. Yeah. yeah. Like, even Ooh, that. that is good. That, that even that would have been fine. Like, I just wanted something. Yeah, yeah. just pop up. Jet packs, something that they they feel like the creators of the pack. show should address. What? Yeah. I feel like that's something that the creators of the show should, should address. Yeah. yeah. Is like, why was that such a weird transition? Thing? Yeah, and why did they just but That is it? something that deserves a little bit of explanation. I like. It, it, it almost seems, that's, too, that's, that's what I would say. Because yeah. it was already the longest episode they've ever made. I would say they probably did have something filmed and it got cut yeah. because or obviously it was it would have been with the ships and that would have just gone way over budget. Yeah, yeah maybe. True. The y- Yara showing up and Theon showing up was awesome, though. The, that mm. d- the dialogue between Daenerys and Yara was awesome. Oh, I loved it. It was I, such a powerful lady moment. It was it good was. without being too girl power. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it wasn't over the top, like, we women need to stick together. My favorite part but, was when uh, Daenerys was like, well, why should I choose you over Euron? Mm-hmm. And they were like, well, because you're on, like, wants to marry you. Like, that's part of his deal. And she's <laughs> like, is that yeah, not on the table term. for you? <laughs> yeah. And you're always like, eh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't demand it, but I'll go with it. And I was like, all right. <laughs> I just said, I'm a big fan of Yara. Me what too. Are, yeah. One of my favorite lines from that, and because it addresses Tyrion, like, even though you don't really think about it, um, is like everyone here, all their fathers were terrible. Yeah, I, I, mm-hmm. that too. Yeah, I yeah. love that. And like, we've, I mean, Tywin, we haven't really. Tywin was a terrible He person. was. He was. But we haven't. Oh, we, yeah. You don't feel the repercussions of Tywin as much as you feel the repercussions of Ares and then also Balon right now because we're focusing on Balon's kids yeah. and like what he's left of the Iron Islands. But Tywin like really messed the realm yeah. up like permanently. Happy Father's Day, by the way. Yeah! yeah. Happy Father's Day! Um, I hope your dad is not as terrible as those dads. So I, re- I love that line. I thought it was a really great line. I did too. The only thing that I could see. I don't start my head. Interfering with that is that I feel like Ned was a dad to Theon. Not And really. Ned was probably a great dad. No, he, he was. He, he was, was a foster dad, dad, but like biologically. Well, not his biological, obviously. Like, I'm no, not an no, idiot. No, I know, I know, I know. But no, like, even a uh, father figure. I don't think Theon views it that way, though. Mm. Like, See, I don't know, because like, whenever, um, I, because I just started rewatching the series with my little sister, but one of the scenes that I watched is when Theon first goes home. Um, and Balin even says to him, it's like, are you even my son? You spent more time being raised by Ned than you did me. Yeah. And like, he says that to Theon, and Theon doesn't really say anything. He's just like, he's sheepish about it. Mm-hmm. You know, I feel I mean, like that Theon gets grouped with the Stark children. He does. Yeah. You know, you like, know? he obviously was not, and there was always that distance. Kind of like how John has that feeling too, but even to well, a you know, greater Well, you know, also the whole, if his dad ever, like, screwed up, then Ned was going to kill him. You know, that can't be fun. Yeah, but you know, yeah. like, at the same thing, though, it's, it's a matter of... Being raised by somebody and having that connection, I don't think that Theon yeah. as a child would have re- like thought about it like that. I feel like Ned was probably a fatherly figure influence yeah. to Theon, mm-hmm. which clearly probably didn't come through because if you remember back in the earlier seasons or books, Theon was kind of an ass. Oh yeah, very much yeah. so. Oh, rewatching the series made me hate Theon so much more. Like, oh, uh, no, I never actually hated Theon. You're no, weird. I mean he he was pretty horrible. He was a pretty yeah, horrible he guy. Was, he was kind of a, a douche. Um. <laughs> it's almost like he was kind of acting out too, because you know, mm-hmm. yeah. just, a lot of it. Oh, well, he very much was acting out when he went to go take Wonderful. Yeah. That was totally him acting. Well, and the way that him, like, uh, also like, trying to get the approval of. Him. Yeah, exactly. exactly. He was young and trying to get the approval of his father. Yeah. And he was very. He was. It was. It was definitely an approval thing. Having that weird sense of displacement, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, like I remember one of the things with Osha and from the earlier episodes too, and he's talking to it's her. It's Laura. No, no it's Osha. 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 Wildling okay. Osha. Yeah, Osha. No, he's talking to. Yeah, he's Talks. talking to Osha, and uh, she's in there cleaning, and he's like, you'll address me as lord. She's like, well, you're not a lord. You know, and it's that whole, like, him constantly kind of have that power grab feel to yeah. him. He constantly wants recognition. He's and he wants, wants like, the opposite of that now. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. he realized the consequences of it. Mm. There's just so much to talk about. There is, yeah. yeah. He okay. used to be a terrible person, but... Now he's not. Tion. 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 Tyrion still remembers that Tion. <laughs> Tyrion. Yeah. Tyrion. Yeah, okay, sorry. Cool. Uh, Tyrone, Tyrone Lannisters. Tyrone Lannisters. So moving on, um, let's talk oh. about uh, John and Sansa and their little... And the powwow tent. Yeah, the powwow tent. Yeah. I like that, I like that. Um, John frustrates me. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I get that. Um, but, like, 
John is so tired at this point. Like, just he's just done with all of this. And like, Sansa tries to help him, and yes, he does not listen, which is a huge mistake. But like, I get where John's coming from. But I don't think he totally. No, I he think doesn't. They're both right and they're both wrong. He to he doesn't totally disregard Sansa. Like. He humor. He sit. Well, he doesn't even humor her. He sits down. Yeah, because humor to her. almost implies condescending. No, it's exactly. not condescending. No, he sits down He's just like, "What do you want me to do?" And I mean, to be honest, like Sansa doesn't give good advice. She doesn't know, and it's not. It's not a fault of her. It's exactly what she says. Go ahead, Philip. I wonder why she ahead. didn't tell him. It's like, hey, I got a secret cavalry coming. Yeah. You know, it's like yeah. just keep doing. She doesn't know. Why does she? Why does she? She doesn't know. She didn't know for sure. She just sent a letter, hoping that it would go through. She could have said she sent the letter at least. Yeah. But the thing is, is like Sansa says it exactly how it is. She doesn't know about battle. Mm -hmm. She knows about Ramsay. Mm -hmm. yeah. John knows about battle. Which and is a fair thing for her to say. Right. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. But yeah. the thing is, and like this is why I think John totally has a point. All she really says is like, don't do the obvious thing. Like, no shit. Like that's yeah. even what John says. Because like what like you can't really interpret much more from that. It's yeah. not like she's gonna be like, this is how it's gonna go down. This is how it's gonna go down. He's gonna use this tactic. Yeah. Like don't let your and another thing. But then he does go as the obvious thing though. But you know. But the thing is, is like Taylor, like especially someone with like you know you like literature and stuff a lot, and you are a very emotional person. You have to understand that when you see your sibling killed, and when you're a family that you care so much about the family dynamics in that time, like you're going to let emotion fill you. You're yeah, going to right. act well, that's right. exactly if what you don't, John like that yeah. would have no done. Sense. Had that's his like character. Yeah, exactly. Had well, for John, it makes sense, but it's still a dumb move. I would do yeah, the same thing. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think that that nobody's saying it's a smart move, but had he not done it, Taylor, you probably would have been more mad that it was out of character. So, like, not really. You really? Well, I mean, yeah, would have been more mad. Than exactly. That. I, so, I like, just don't like John. John couldn't have won in your eyes, so I think it's a moot point. That's true. I don't like John. I think he's boring. I actually, I used to think John was very boring. And this last season and a half or so, he's yeah. really turned it around for me. I just think like, that I really can't... value John's life now. Yeah. yeah. And you can't expect a show with 40 people all have like these dynamic characters with interesting, twisty stories. Like, some people are just good hearted, loyal people, and there's nothing wrong with that. And that's character. exactly who's John, who John has been this Yeah, we lost time. Ned, yeah. so I mean, we I'm not somebody. surprised at all at what John did. I even yeah. sat here in the episode and I was like, he is so dumb. Like yes. I said it on all of like, he's an idiot. Like, he why is he doing this? But okay. I get it. Before we jump into the battle, though, there's a few other things we need to touch on. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Um, Davos. Oh, find, yes, find that's, all my, that's yeah. my next. Um, I think is a really big. Uh, obviously, in the oh, preview. We skipped one. We'll go back. Okay. We'll go back. In the preview, we see that he is going to confront Melisandre. Mm -hmm. um, Melisandre. Yeah, Melisandre. <laughs> I, was, he, I combined him and uh, Melisandre. Uh, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Their names are so similar. I get it. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I called Sansa Staria during the Staria. 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 Uh, but yeah, Staria Stark. He, he's <laughs> confronting her and telling John, like, you need to do something about this. Like, like, Shireen was a very important person to Davos, a daughter. He lost all his sons. Like, this was his kid, essentially. Wait, did he actually say anything to John about it this episode? No, 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 no uh, in, in the, the preview. preview. Oh, yeah. in the preview. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, like... But that, yeah, that's another thing, is Davos finds the evidence that Shireen is... And dead. the way that was shot with the sun rising in the background was awesome because it was reminiscent of fire mm -hmm. right? really over, the si like, over the burn site. They did a great job with cinematography. I have another point to talk about later on about cinematography, but I loved that part. Mm -hmm. um, that was really good. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, let's go ahead and just hit on that Davos and Shireen. What did you guys think of that? Um, oh it's not really, I'm not like, it's not a fan theory. I don't know, but it's like my prediction, I guess. So I feel like You're, it should be. Yeah, you know, totally worth the tinfoil yeah. hat. No, I mean, I personally think that John is not going to kill Melisandre. Cause like, I know, I know it seems like an obvious thing for like, you know, Dobbs going to be like, she murdered a child. She, you know, is a horrible person. But after the conversation that John just had with her, where she's like, I just serve the Lord of light, blah, blah, blah. And, and she seemed very genuine about it. And you know, he was like, don't bring me back. And she's like. I, you know, you know she, she was very genuine in that tent, and so I feel like it's going to be something where, like, John is kind of kind of at a loss of what to do, and Davos might get mad and go away. Also, you kind of look like a big jerk if you kill the person who brought you back to life. See, but... But I feel like we're about to say the same thing. I think we are. Go for it. I was going to say, um, Melisandre, to me, is not a... What's the word I'm looking for? She has no credibility. I feel like... If I was someone looking in on the outside, as I am, as a watcher of this show, mm -hmm. um, I would be like, really, like you have you have nothing going for you. You have nothing going for you, and you murdered a child, so you're done. Mm. We were actually going to say different things. Oh, really? Go ahead. John is not a religious person. 
Mm -hmm. He uh, he takes his vows yeah. for the mm -hmm. Night's Watch in front of the Weirwood Tree. Yeah. But that's just because that's how he was raised. Mm -hmm. um, and so he definitely, does, even if he is religious to the old gods, he definitely doesn't serve the Lord of Light or care about the Lord of Light. He knows Melisandre's doing her thing and he's going to let her do that, but he doesn't like it. Like, he doesn't want her to do it. So I don't think her being like, oh, I only serve the Lord of Light, I don't think that has any grounds. I don't think it's necessarily a religious thing. I just think that, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to play out. I just can foresee something happening where John's see, like... If Melis Hunter dies, I just don't see John being the one. I see it. It'd be Davos. Yeah, I agree. It'd be Davos. Yeah. 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 It'd be Davos. Plus, I need a point in my Deadpool, so please kill her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I would feel, because, like, I know Melis Hunter's, like, done some sketchy things, but I love her as a character. Yeah, I mean, she's... I also Taylor, love Davos. She literally I'm spawned a you. demon. That's your entire philosophy on everyone on this show. Like, you like Ramsay. You like... Just like characters who cause... Who, I like, like men who watch the world burn. Who do sketchy things, but you still like them. Most people on this show have done like, sketchy things. It's not very surprising That's to me true. for you. Melisandre hasn't really done anything interesting for a long time for me. Like, yeah. No, honestly, like boring. before this episode, I was going to bring this up. I was going to be like, where is she? Like, what is yeah, going on? They haven't addressed her. They haven't yeah. showed her in any episodes mm -hmm. for a long mm -hmm. time. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. But yeah. Maybe kind of like Ario was like the camera in the south. She's been the camera in the north and literally just been filming all Did this. Did you say Ario? Ario. Ario. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, oh, no. the Doran's big burly bodyguard guy oh, who got yeah. shanked. Sorry. I think you're trying to say Aria. It's taking way too long now. Right. <laughs> um, one thing that we glossed over for a second. You know what else is this episode? What? No Doran. <laughs> That's kind of what else is Eight tough? episodes, no Doran. <laughs> um, it's like a workplace. John and Ramsey's little uh, talk at the beginning. Yeah. No. As to where John was like, Let's fight one on one. Ramsey was like, "No, bro. No, no, bro. No, no." Yeah, we um, kind of thought that was gonna lead to like an Umber car start kind of switching it aside. Super yeah. mad that didn't happen. We'll talk about them a little. Yeah. Later. Real disappointed in them, but yeah. yeah. Um, I guess I just kind of assumed from watching the trailer for the episode that that's what was gonna happen. That they were just gonna duke it out. No. Okay. I'm so sorry. I like no. no I, I didn't think I like that. It. I thought there was gonna be a battle, but I I completely agree with these two about the battle though. Like I was expecting a switching of sides. And I was a little bit disappointed that that did not happen. John, I really was, I was not okay expecting with it. a switching of sides. I wasn't expecting it either. It's, I, everything happens too fast to be like, oh, what are you doing? I what like, are you doing? Let's go do this. I like the way John played Ramsey though, with the with the challenge of mm -hmm. like, oh, if you don't, you clearly don't care about your men. Like, how are they gonna feel? Like, it was a good effort. It didn't work, yeah. but it was a smart yeah. effort. And it showed John has a little bit more brains than he showed previously. Like, I like I like John. But it shows a little bit more depth to him as far as a military commander because he hasn't done a big battle other than the wall, mm -hmm. which was literally just like him with his back to a wall. See, for the thing is, is that would be an insult for John. Like for someone to say that to John, John would have been like, "Oh, that's awful that I don't yeah. care about my men." Yeah. Ramsey doesn't care. Yeah, Le Ramsey's just like, "Good." Okay. Ramsey's like, "Whatever." Like I'm he literally, back. we'll talk Whatever. about that more later. But he literally kills his own men. Yeah, yeah. we were talking yeah. about that kind of battle, like. Yeah. Who would follow somebody who has like a flayed man as like their banner? Yeah. Like, yeah. We're alluding really to the battle. I'm like, I'm actually actually like get in and talk about it. Like yeah. we're, we're teasing. Yeah. yeah, let's go ahead and like we're teetering there. around. Um, let's talk about uh, Rickon really quick. Mm. Right. Yeah, right before the battle. A moment of silence for, for our, our king. For our king Rickon. Andrew's really? theory is dead. Yes. Moment of silence. Listen, he's attached to this. You gotta give him his respect, okay? I demand the crown. The tinfoil yeah, hat. Hat. <laughs> Yes. The crown. During, 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 during our moment of silence. silence. For our king Rickon. For our king Rickon. Alright, moment's over. Time, oh, is, time is money. We'll Don't cry later. I mean, honestly, like, I was gonna edit in, like, scenes of Rickon into that part, but, like, the the, the, the the length we have of silence probably fits all his scenes. Wait, so. wait. <laughs> put, it, put in the scenes, but then make it the sad walking away music from Incredible Hulk. Oh, I was thinking. I was thinking the peanut song. Yeah. I don't know if we can do any of that. Yeah. yeah I, I was like, copyright exists. Yeah. <laughs> So, battle time! No, Rick and, Rick and, slow Rick and, your roll. Oh, Rick and still? Yeah, still, uh, <laughs> still on that? Slow your roll. Um, Who is he? Who's that kid? So, oh, Rick, yeah, we didn't talk about the rest of Rick and... No, no uh, we just had a moment of silence for me. Thank you for I just got distracted time. because of that. Okay. But, uh, yeah, so Ramsey's like, let's play a game, little boy, which we heard We heard that we in the trailer. We all knew it was going to happen. Very beginning. Yeah. Like, we heard exactly. that line in the trailer. Yeah. We heard it's it in obviously a, Ramsey. Yeah, a few, like, a few things ago, mm -hmm. or a few episodes ago, and the pre, like, coming up next, and yeah. it never came, so, like, it finally showed up. Yeah. And it was like some people, I remember some people like during the trailer when it came out, they're like, he's got Tyrion. Like, why the hell would he have Tyrion? What? Well, they showed what? Tyrion during yeah. that. I think they're trying to be mis <laughs> misleading with it, but like anyone with more than two brain cells to run together should probably have guessed that it was 
No. Nah. Since it was Rams, I don't like to be like me. hateful, but like if you thought that you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. But no. But, so, just kidding. So, had a moment. So our, had a moment. our King Rickon is dead. Uh, he was shot multiple times by arrows. As it turns out, the game wasn't a sweet playthrough of Shadows Over Camelot. If you want that, watch the boardroom. But, yeah. <laughs> that is the least smooth plug ever. I, I loved, loved it. it. That was great. It. He just okay. really, like shoved himself in there. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we all knew it was coming. Yeah. He was. There's no yeah. way Rickon was getting out of that no. alive. And Sans even said, like, yeah. Rickon's dead. Like, get over it. Yeah. Right, like, yeah. right away. Like, she's like, Rickon's gone. John. Yeah, he was like, what am I supposed to do about Rickon? And Sansa's like, don't Who? even think yeah, about him. Like, he's gone. Like, he's yeah. gone. Oh, the little one. Yeah, right. No, don't worry about yeah, him. Yeah, don't worry about <laughs> him. <laughs> the little one. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, Rickon, that really is what started the whole thing. Yeah, so, uh, John runs in like a dummy. Big yeah. dummy. Okay, but exactly I want to say something all right here, though, do. because I don't think, different characters are different characters. Yeah. I think that saying that, John is not as intelligent as a lot of characters, but that's who he is. Like, he's very yeah, emotional, that's he's no, heartfelt. I totally agree. And so, like, I think all of us mutually were like, oh, John, you're being so dumb, but that doesn't mean he's a bad character. Right. So, like, that's where no the No one's saying he's a bad me. character, we're just saying he's dumb. Yeah. No, but I'm just saying a lot of people, like, tend to do that, and it's it irritates me. No, he you're is. You're just calling out all the haters out there. Yes. Yeah, yeah no, he They is. were like, every character needs to be dynamic and intelligent. Not the case. Like, John can be less intelligent than other characters and still be a I great mean, guy. I mean, it's like Tyrion's, like, interpretation of, like, a Northman, like... Yeah. <laughs> you know, the last episode. Out. Yeah. yeah. So... Well, uh, jokes, oh, my favorite was the, uh, the play Ned. I was like, huh, that's right, exactly yeah. how I view Ned Stark. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but the bat- yeah, so that all starts, John runs in, and Ramsay immediately starts killing his own people. Yeah. Like with arrows. Like well, well, no, they charge ahead of well, him. Okay. He doesn't stop with the arrows. Yeah, when that's that's what I mean. Ahead. That's what I mean. So like, it's not like he's deliberately killing his own guys. Yeah, no, he's telling his archers, yeah, damage. to shoot at the mass of people. And it's interesting to see Ramsey versus Davos, who, who's yeah. you know, he's supposed to be giving the instructions to shoot, and he doesn't give one. They just sit there the whole time. They're like, "We're gonna hit our own men. We're gonna hit our own men," and yeah. then they just charge. Davos they're like, "Screw it! Like, we're not yeah. doing anything back here." Yep. So we're let's charge. Davos yeah. gives one line: "We're gonna hit our own men," and then it immediately cuts to Rams being like, "Go." Let's talk go. about that moment where it's John versus right. all of the cavalry and the horses, an epic scene. and you're like, "Oh my God, he's gonna die! He's gonna die! He's gonna die!" Third oh God, best shot in the, in the episode. And then just like, it. boom. Honestly, I thought it was tacky. I didn't like it. I loved it. Oh, I, I it ate funny. that up like it was the baked like, beans I made earlier funny, tonight. Funny, no, you wouldn't want to find it. Well, I would because I'm a sick person. But I, no, I thought like, it was funny too, but like, yes, it was tacky, but like the scene of him before the rest of the army came awesome was very, no, 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 it was uh, very pretty. Yeah. It was a very pretty so, scene. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it, it, was it. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was very cliche, and then the army, the other army, like John's army, slams into. But like, we all had an emotional reaction when that happened. Yeah, it was like, a, I, I wish I, mean, I, I would have liked that it. Kind of an emotional yes, reaction. it does. Yeah, you're a psychopath. I think we I all kind of laughed a little bit because we were like, yeah. oh, okay, that's it. I would have liked it a lot more if it was that scene because it was a beautiful scene, and then his troops went past him a little bit, and then the collision. See, that would be very gladiator esque, like. But I'm okay with that because to me, it's like, why the fuck? I liked Why the how, hell? I liked how disorienting it was. The actual battle itself. Because it really put you like, yes. right where John was like, what is happening? What just happened I just don't me? get why one of the riders wouldn't strike down Jon Snow, the commander of that entire army, as they rode past it. It made no sense to me. Like, that's kind of what they I have stormtrooper aim. Yeah, yeah, like, that, for the Where fact that they were like, this guy is right here, and none what of them were, were like, even looking at him, though. And they were just like, oh my god, there's there. so many ones <laughs> behind him. There were people right behind him. That's the thing, is there were people right behind him. But there were people the right is, behind, him. Right behind him, but like, wouldn't you want to be the guy who killed Jon Snow in that battle? Yes. Exactly, like, people would want to. I said that a little too enthusiastically. I won't as much as we expect by the end of the night. But yeah, that was like I just came compared to what we were expecting. Yeah, I just like to watch the world burn. I was just like, okay, either John is gonna die here, we're gonna get a really like a Zora High moment where like his sword fucking goes up. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> if that had happened, I would have been like triple done with this. I know that's why I really so wanted this to happen. Um, <laughs> and, uh, but then yeah, nothing happened. It just like okay, it was just like oh boom. Like I said, I, I wish I would have. Had it, I, I would have thought it more believable. I guess that's the thing for me. It didn't seem believable. It seemed comedic. I was like, is this Monty Python? Like, well, why? I loved it. Well, like, the thing but, is, like, it doesn't Jessica, belong. The thing is, with, like, the, the army coming towards him, like, why wouldn't you kill John? The other horses ran around John and slammed into them. But they, no, they didn't, though. It was like, no, yeah, they, they went past John, and then they clished. Like, that's they what we're saying. They went past 
John. But that's first. what I'm saying. Why on earth, in the middle of a battle, Ramsey's can... troops didn't go past John? They did. Yeah, John's no, they did. Did. no, 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 no. John's, John's troops went past, past him. Yeah. And then hit I the saw other totally. Army. No, 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 we're yeah. gonna have to rewatch okay, it. Okay, then cause... that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Yeah. But if it was the other way around and Ramsey, no, that would make yeah, that would be that would make zero sense. I was really confused. John's troops went past him. No, did you want me to throw a spear at him? Like that's why I was so confused. Okay, that makes a lot more sense because the way I saw it, but I was like super excited, is that. They went past John, and I was like, right. "Why would you yeah, do that?" So you had high okay. pays. I did. So I had high pays. The next couple, like several minutes, are just mm -hmm. kind of battle scenes. Yeah. Um, we got one. One eventually up showed up. What's that? One one showed up eventually. Oh yeah, one one. One one's kind of held back for a while. Yeah. yeah. But like I said, like he's kind of big and bulky. Yeah, he's got big steps, but like he kind of like teeter totters like a big toddler. <laughs> so like he doesn't have to move super fast. Like yes, he's got the range, but he's got. He takes a lot of effort to move. I mean, and do you really want to like? I'm trying to think of a way to phrase this. This isn't obscene. Um, do you really want to like have your best guy out there right at the start necessarily? Yeah. Yeah. That like, kind of battle, kind of. Yeah. Maybe I don't know. Well, I mean, in see, that kind of battle with John's tactic, it wouldn't have mattered. See, the best. Oh, I would have been just okay. like, see that guy over there with the weird goblin face. Get him yeah. first. Then. You know, then bother with everyone else. Okay. Goblin. Real quick, let's talk about. I, I just thought about this. So, kind of the tinfoil hat. This is almost tinfoil. Yeah. Like, um, battle plan for Team Snow should have been get on top of a big hill, have one one lay down, and just roll them down. <laughs> Clearly. Just, just, roll them. just roll them like a big log. The, uh, the Goron assault? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Just like not summer assaulting, just literally laying down. I just down think of a log roll, 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 yeah, like the log rolling roll. down and just <laughs> crushing oh, these people. That should have been the battle. I plan. mean, to be fair, even if he died, as long as there was enough momentum going up, it would have been fine. Yeah, he would have just. Kept I'm going to talk about a moment that we all freaked out. Yes. Um, when we all thought Tormund was going to die. Ooh. Yeah, yeah with the Balgan yeah. Scott. No, okay, I was really like, I was like, okay, either Davos is going to die or Tormund is going to die because no one cares enough about Rickon. Sorry, Rickon. You, sorry, you. You're the only one <laughs> for like that to really be that much of an emotional impact. And like. Sorry, who? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> and, like, I was like, so they got, and obviously, like, they're not going to kill Sansa because she's too far away from the battle. They're not going to kill Jon because they already killed Jon. Yeah, he's back. So, I thought, okay, they're going to have to use this opportunity to, like, drive it into people's gut. And I was actually, I, they had a lot of restraint by not doing that. Yeah. I mean, he, I thought he was gone. Yeah, I mean, he got torn Oh, no, I thought he was, up. Yeah, I thought he was gone, too. And yeah, I was very like, glad that he wasn't. Watching him kill that guy, we were all like, that's well, the it's like it's, the, uh, it's in the middle, middle of John down. almost suffocating too. Yeah, so it's like back and forth, back and forth, and it's so disorienting that, that, that you don't know so what's happening. That was so disorienting that Taylor actually asked, "Wait, is that John?" As mm -hmm. he was getting stepped on for like Smart. two minutes. Well, I mean, he was covered by yeah, he was like, co everything. Yeah, he was covered by like mud and poop and blood. And the people. Yeah, people. They're like, yes, it, he was very like. It was hard to tell. It was, was but like it was a solid two minutes where you didn't know it was him. At one point, I was watching the first part of the game. It was very claustrophobic. It was. Because it made you think, like, that's probably how a lot of people was, died in battle. Yeah, no, and we even it's mentioned, like, trampled. We mentioned before, like, John got knocked down. Like, that would suck to be at the bottom of that pile. Yeah. And then John's at the bottom of that pile. <laughs> like, it was so much carnage. It was yeah. not, like, your typical, you know. They let like, go on this. The game like, bodies disappear after a while. No. They were just battle, built. Like, it, okay. Out. Ramsey's battle tactic. I, I love battle tactics. It, no, it was flawless. No, actually. Ramsey's battle tactic was great. Yeah. It was a really good idea. That's exactly that a Ramsey thing, though. He was totally he Ramsey. So know exactly what he was doing the whole time. Mm -hmm. yep. That's the thing about Ramsey is he's all brains. Ramsey's no incredibly heart. intelligent. Yeah. yeah no, John is all heart. No, no brains. brains. Not yeah. a lot of brains. Yeah. Uh, um. My favorite part of like my favorite shot, and it, like not even from a cinematic point, but like. Partially from that, and also just a fan point, is where there's the dead bodies and little fingers come and broken up the the the, the, wall, phalanx, the, veil. the phalanx. Yeah. And um, John pops his head up over the dead body wall, and then you see one one come up behind him, and then Tormund pop up next <laughs> yes, to him. That was that was and great. it was like, team up, let's do this, yeah. and then they crawl That's over. What they did. They just ran. Yeah, like, they, like that was like. Oh, I. Oh. That was kind of like you talked. About I think that wanted, was like our rallying moment. Yeah. yeah. You talked about how you wanted like a Captain America, Iron Man kind of Avenger <laughs> shot with Brienne and Tormund. Yeah, we're like just kind of like back to back, like destroying everyone. Right. That is the thing, though, is none of the troops from River Run. Yeah. Came. It was just the Vale. I mean, well, like River Run's kind of. Yeah, it's, yeah, kind, it's of kind of far away. They seem kind of like. 
Yeah. 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 They did a great job I mean, last episode. You never know. <laughs> Jetpacks all around That's true. Yeah. That's true. But, um... So, yeah, the veil shows up. My, that was my, my moment, because, uh... I like when Sansa gets to win, and Sansa got to win. Everybody won, win. Taylor! No, she won. I the the only person who didn't win was Ramsay. Yeah, Ramsay right. well, did. Well, I guess next win. episode we're going to have trial by combat between Sansa and Jon, so we'll see what happens then. <laughs> if they're not on the same team. I mean, what, okay, yes, they're on the same team, but she's the one who secured the victory, so he I mean, got yes. the assist. Okay, to, to be fair, yes, he got she the did assist. secure the victory. She got the kill. Yes. I'm, I will give you that. So to wrap up the whole um, battle portion of this, with all of this, uh, Philly had like the most insane <laughs> reaction I've ever seen to everything. Yeah. To anything. Yeah. And Thomas and Philly went and saw The Dark Knight Rises together. And Thomas, before this episode, was like, "Is it going to be like The Dark Knight Rises?" And it was much, much more. Basically, than okay. okay. My, my first viewing for The Dark Knight Rises, the second time I was like, "Oh." <laughs> the first time, like when Batman like pulls off Bane's mask, spoiler for like a four-year-old movie. <laughs> like Philly was like. <laughs> It was awesome. I loved it. Philly was... Okay. <laughs> I was all over the place. Yeah, one point I'm all like demonstrate I, I, I'm like how the, it started. I'm like the demo demo started, No, over here. It started with him like over the couch. Like, oh my god. <laughs> like full squat. Oh my god. <laughs> like, just <laughs> freaking out. Yeah, and then like, there was a lot of... I'm very tired. There's some rolling around. <laughs> rolling around. Standing next to the couch. A lot of arm movements. Just like, like, yeah! like spread out. Like spread eagle on the ground. Yeah, it was like... And he had potential... Like there was a lot of him like sitting down and then like leaning back and kicking his feet up in the air. This went on for the whole thing. I yeah. lost my mind. Yeah. <laughs> I was saying, you lost a pound or two. And yeah, we had a big like, like, like barbecue feast before this. Philly probably just burned it all off. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm, I'm very tired and very hungry. <laughs> I mean, that was oh literally god. everything I wanted in a Game of Thrones episode. Philly had a big day like, today. We were all I, watching I, like, oh my god. And then we would look over at Philly and be like, oh my god. No, there, was <laughs> point, there was a point where like Andrew and I were like, there's more action going on in this room than <laughs> yeah. on the TV screen. And this and was, and the middle it of the was the a string of vulgarity that I could not repeat if even if I wanted to. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It was yeah. very loud in here. Yeah. I was like from yeah, all of us. I, I, had, right now. I, I apologize to so life. trendy and this neighborhood. <laughs> had the episode not been going on or like had I seen the episode already, I would just be filming Philly the whole time. But like I, <laughs> I wanted know. to pay attention. I know. Uh, I wish we would have filmed Philly. Uh, it was so, too bad nothing that great probably is gonna happen next episode because otherwise yeah. we could have set up a Philly camp. I'm, I'm just gonna sit here and just be like <laughs> Philly camp. Well I will say there was another reference to the Mad Queen you forgot yeah. to talk about. Yeah. Yes. I wouldn't rule out nothing great. great happening in the next episode. Tyrion, Tyrion talked about uh, I'm not gonna freak out specifically, about that. you know, once again the whole yes. Aries thing. But you know, let's go back to Winterfell. Yeah, yeah. Winterfell. Um, so as we were saying, John Tormund one one. Uh, storm to the gates. They just Apparently, with men behind them too. Yeah, they chase down Ramsay. They chase him into Winterfell. Ramsay gets into Winterfell. He's like, eh, "It's fine. We're in Winterfell. It's like, cool. It's yeah, cool." They were finding just... Dory today. Like, I think Ramsay might have short-term memory loss. They forget <laughs> that there's like a giant. <laughs> Like, so yeah, let's talk does, about how one one saved the day. Yeah, yeah, he does exactly what we all expected and just bursts in. <laughs> oh, and anybody and but Ramsey could have saved. So it was so good. Like, after in that. all fairness, after that death, I think one one deserves the moment of silence. Yeah, he does. He was like a porcupine, full of. Okay, oh, wait, 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 before before we get any farther. Can we talk about how one one punched through the gate, was trying to lift off the bar, got shot in the yeah. head, spear. and it was just, it was like, yeah, spear, it was just like, it nope! It wasn't and, an arrow, it was a freaking spear. Yeah, it was just like, yeah. ripped his own flesh open to get this door open. Like, yeah. I've never seen a giant, first of all, in real life, but I've never <laughs> seen a giant this determined. He was in it to win it. He was. Unlike the Warriors today, uh, And then, like, he's, like, oh. kneeling there, and John comes up next to him, and he looks at John, and then Ramsey shoots him right in the eye. Yeah. And it's, like, it's... Which is such a Ramsey oh, thing. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, I was mad about Rickon, because that debunks, like, a five-year-old theory I have. But as soon as that <laughs> arrow went through the eye, like, yeah, I'm still mad about Rickon, but it is on. Like, yeah. oh. He like needed, Ramsey needed to be ended. Immediately. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was yeah. such a satisfying, and John was like running up, like, block, block. Yeah, yeah block. I was like, what's he doing? Boom! The shield. I was, Ugh. honestly, though, I was a little disappointed that he went fist with it, so I'm like, did you the shield? No, so raw, and just like killing somebody with your own. Um, once again, never happened. <laughs> 
but killing somebody with like your bare hands and just beating them to death and just getting well, all this rage out for mm-hmm. all the things he's done. Yeah, because like, it's like it's not only in just your the ancestral battle, home. Yeah, like, he's taken from you. He's taken yeah. your home. He's killed your men. He's violated your sister. He, he killed, killed your, your brother. brother. Yeah. like I think it was just so it's much rage. Like, like, uh, Martel there. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> almost like an Eva Montoya too. Like, yeah. Uh, um, Much darker in Ego yeah. So yeah, it was, that was the people. most well, satisfying scene for me was just watching John punch Ramsey repeatedly mm-hmm. in the face. That moment where he looked at Sansa though, and he's about ready to deliver that final punch, and then he stops, and he's just like, that's right. So, okay, okay. interpretation question time. Yeah. Who interpreted, interpreted it as... Um, him stopping for the sake of like not killing him in front of his sister and like kind of the sensitivity no. thing no. versus who thought that yes. it was like he wanted Sansa or he wanted something no. worse for him. No. Initially, I thought it was a sensitivity thing. Given okay. the events that happened directly after that, mm-hmm. I think we can. I the whole time thought it was one. he looked at Sansa and was like, "I don't deserve to kill him. You just yeah, no. Yeah. Like, she suffered so much more, and mm-hmm. so she gets it. And he's like, once again, gets the assist. Sansa gets the kill. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> and. Well, I mean, something else got the kill. A few other things got the kill. <laughs> but, um... Oh, so. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, I think I think it was... I From the get-go, I was like, he's not killing her because... Or killing him because Sansa gets Even this. before the episode, we were like, Sansa's got to be the one to kill Ramsay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I was at... My bet was... Before the season started, was either Sansa or Theon. Mm-hmm. But I liked in but a way... Was, Theon went that way. Well, <laughs> <so> <laughs> we took that way. a little... Hop, skip, and a jump away. Yeah, he's... Other side of the pond. Yeah, jetpack. <laughs> jetpack. Mm-hmm. Um... But then the final scene. Yeah, the final scene. How it closed out the show. Cool guys um, don't look at explosions. Yeah. <laughs> cool Sansas don't look at dog maulings. <laughs> cool yeah. Sansas don't look at dog maulings. <laughs> Sansa just watched. It that was smile at the end was so satisfying. I know that we all, from even before the season started, we kind of were wondering if Shima was maybe pregnant. She's mm-hmm. not. Based on pictures is. that we saw. In, I think it could go either way. I think it could, yeah. could go either way. So. I think it's kind of hard to tell because it's hard to tell how much time has passed mm-hmm. in the show. Mm-hmm. Right. So, I think she but I think, I think she's not. That'd be a hell of a bombshell for the next I, I, I've been a firm believer in that since the beginning I just think it would be, like, since they only have, what, like, how many episodes left? Like, 13? Yeah. I just think it would be, like, a lot of something to do that can't really go anywhere, so it seems like it would be pointless to me. Uh, that's fair. We'll see. It could go either uh, way. It doesn't have to be a baby, though. Just the fact that she's pregnant is, mm-hmm. like, enough of a storyline of her own. Because, mm-hmm. like, Ramsey was such, such she like, specifically like, mentions that the Boltons life. will never return. Yeah. Like, the Boltons yeah. are only right. gone. Yeah. This technically um, would mean that there was a Bolton out there. Technically. That's the, so. But he's not a Bolton. No. He's a Snow. Yeah. Sansa's uh, smile at the end. I think that's the first time we've seen Sansa smile since probably season two or three. Mm-hmm. We, Long time. We, yeah, because like all last season, she was just in River. Uh, she was in River Run and miserable. You want to follow me? No. Base. Oh, no, she's in River. Oh, no, she's in River Run for part of it. No, that's season four. Sorry. She's never in River Run. She's in uh, Littlefinger. She was in Erie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Um, but no, I think in something that was kind of interesting, speaking about Littlefinger and stuff like that, is in the preview for the next episode. It looks like her and Baelish have some sort of awkward encounter where Baelish is like, you know what I want. I want to marry you. Oh. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's been coming since season one. Well, no, I know yeah. it's been coming, know, but the I fact know. that it's happening is, you know, it's yeah. a big deal. Do you think she'll do it? No. God, no. She's done being used. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. No. I don't know. No, she doesn't owe him anything. She's going to kill him in the weirwood. God, I hope she does. I, hope so. I, don't, I don't think she's going to kill him. No, I don't think she will either, but I hope she does. No. I want her to. No, I kind of, Although at the same time, I would kind of like to see her marry him her. and then outplay him in every aspect and he just be her little, little lap dog. That'd be cool. It would that be really would never happen. It would, oh, yeah, happen. Would, it would be satisfying. He would never be her lap dog, no. but... It would be satisfying. He's too smart. No, she had to, smart. she'd have to play him and get him arrested for Lysa's murder. I, uh, that would be satisfying. I kind of get nervous with uh, where Sansa's going, though, because we do see... I feel like whenever any character is too... Comfortable. comfortable? No, not comfortable, but whenever they become too polarized in one direction or the other, that's usually when they're least safe. Ned was loyal to a fault. Ramsay, evil to a You know what I mean? Like, whenever you you hit that one side, we watch a lot of people on the tightrope, and, like, that's kind of where it's safest to be, ironically. But, like, she has become a very dark character. The only time she smiled was when a guy was getting mauled apart by dogs, mm-hmm. which, even your worst enemies, you probably wouldn't wish that death upon. You know what I mean? But, I mean... A normal person wouldn't wish yeah, that upon somebody. Like in, it's in like reality. Theon getting his penis cut off. Like, you wouldn't wish that upon somebody. Hey, his penis cut number three. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. But, um, I... 
it, it, with Sansa, she's reached a level, and just her interactions with John, and like saying Rickon's beyond being saved. Like I don't really, you know what I mean? She's she's hit the stage. I don't think where I'm she doesn't really her. care. I don't think it's that she doesn't care. It's just that she knows she's a realist now. She, realist. She's. Being, I mean, there's a, there's a difference between being a realist, which I get. I get she's being a realist, but there's also having so many misfortunes put upon you that be you become desensitized and numb, which I yeah, think is like where she is. I think she's point. like a comfortably mm -hmm. numb type state. Ew, and it's a terrible song. Oh, shut. Shut up, Taylor. Anyway. Uh, Taylor's wrong a lot tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I No, I think that that's kind of where she is right now, and it makes me worry for her. Actually, what kind of was interesting, kind of along those lines, is it feels like Sansa and Arya have almost sort of switched Most roles. definitely. Mm -hmm. They have. Which, yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, vengeance is much more interesting for Sansa than it is for Arya, I think. Because yeah. I think Sansa has been put on a lot harder than Arya, generally speaking. I'd like to see a reunion between Sansa and Arya. I think there will be. Because I think there will be. there's so much um, dislike between them. Oh, they hate they each other. They hate mm -hmm. each other. They hate I would love to see them come back together and be like, oh my god, I'm so glad you're alive. Yeah. So good our jetpack is, maybe we'll see Yeah. Well, I mean, there was like... The scene, and I don't, I don't know if it was the first or second episode of the season where uh, Brienne is telling Sansa that it was the second episode that that she saw Arya and oh, met Arya, and yeah. and Sansa does smile when Brienne says, mm -hmm. you know, that she wasn't dressed like a lady, and she's like, like she oh, of course be. she wouldn't be. Yeah. And she smiles mm -hmm. at that. So I think, mm -hmm. like, I don't know, like Sansa doesn't get really mentioned to Arya a lot, but I think I feel like every time Arya gets mentioned mentioned to Sansa, she like there's an emotion. There's, like she misses yeah. her. I mean, yeah. speaking is like. An older sister of four younger sisters like you can be entirely different and have you know like a very boyish outlook a very feminine outlet which is like what they always struggled with Arya is very like I don't want to marry up I don't want to do I want to do I my own thing and Sansa for the first two seasons was like I'm gonna marry a prince and I'm gonna have his babies you know and like that was God, her that was and, the but the thing is is like at your core though like they are they are the only two females of the Stark family the daughters you know They're what I mean left, there's yeah. that well, they were the only two daughters well, anyway. Meant, and they're more alike like now than they ever thought they would be. And they are, and I think that's kind of nice. It's that they mm -hmm. are more alike and they have more in common now, and they both understand the other one. They both have gone through hardships. They both have had to do things they never thought they would do and see things that they didn't think they would see. And I don't know. I, I really hope we do get to see a reunion of those two. I think we will. We will. I would love it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can't see that. Ours is on her way back to Wester Westeros, mm -hmm. so I mean, there's yeah. no way not that we not getting one. I, I mean, you never know. Yeah. I mean, where else would she go? Yeah, she's nowhere else to go. Did you guys see the Onion article this week that was like Harrison Ford's agents just won't let him die? <laughs> oh my god! That's funny. Oh my god. And he's like, I just want to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the 